Hello. If you're getting ready for a water treatment operator certification exam, you can bet that the topic with the most questions will be chlorination. So we have for you right now my top 10 chlorine questions to expect on a state certification exam. What chemicals used to detect small chlorine gas leaks? Now we really don't need any help to detect a large leak, but a small leak we can detect with ammonia. And the ammonia, when it comes in contact with a small chlorine leak, will form a fine white mist that we can see uh, right through our visor. Next question, what is used to connect plant chlorine piping to a full chlorine container? Remember that chlorine attacks rubber, so we can't use a rubber gasket for this. We have to use a new lead gasket. A used lead gasket will have a little groove in it from the previous use, so that could lead to minor leaks. So a new lead gasket. What is the first step in addressing a chlorine liquid leak? Well. My first reaction would be to get the heck out of there, but after you come back with the right gear and the right team in place, the first thing that you should do is rotate the container so that the liquid leak becomes a gas leak. The rate of leak then diminishes by about 400 fold, so that improves your situation significantly. Which specialty repair kit should be used to address leaks in a chlorine tonne container? Well, the specialty repair kits come in three varieties, three sizes, and they are keyed to the size of the chlorine container. The A kit is for the welding gas bottle size, the 100 or 150 pound container, and the chlorine tonne container uses the B kit. The rail cars use a C kit. What personal protective equipment is needed to address a severe chlorine gas leak? Mostly we need to protect ourselves from the inhalation risk associated with the gas with a SCBA. In a severe situation you may also need an A suit, a moon suit, to protect you and your SCBA from contact with chlorine. Where should these SCBAs be stored? This is kind of a tricky question and I don't know that there's really a definitive answer, but the basic response should be something like this. Not in the storage area for the chlorine because that's where the leak is and you can't go in there when there's a leak, uh, but it shouldn't be too far away because those uh, SCBAs are kind of heavy and we don't want to have to uh, have a long haul with those. So moderately close to the chlorine storage area but not in it or directly adjacent to it. How many fusible plugs are there on a one ton chlorine container? Well first off, what is a fusible plug? Well it's a safety device that is there to melt in the event of a fire uh, to avoid overpressurization of the already pressurized chlorine storage containers. They melt at about 160 degrees Fahrenheit and on a one ton container there are usually six, three on each end. Some models have four on each end for a total of eight and on the 100 or 150 pound cylinders expect just one fusible plug there. On the rail cars there are no fusible plugs. Instead they have two pressure relief valves that accomplish the same function. How many outlet valves are there on a one ton chlorine container? Well there are two. The upper valve is used to remove gas from the container. The lower valve would be used to remove liquid chlorine from the container. There is one outlet valve on the 
100, 150 pound cylinders. Where should chlorine gas leak detectors be mounted? Well, because chlorine is heavier than air, the initial leak will tend to accumulate near the floor of the chlorine storage area. So that's the most likely place to mount a leak detector. What is the gas withdrawal rate from a one ton chlorine container? Well, the liquid withdrawal rate is basically unlimited, but the gas withdrawal rate from any of our containers is limited and the nominal rate of gas withdrawal from a ton container is 400 pounds per day. The nominal gas withdrawal rate from the 150 pound cylinders is 40 pounds per day. Now those numbers are nominal. They are based on the uh, ambient temperature surrounding the containers. So those are our top 10 questions and a couple of bonus questions kind of thrown in there help you get ready for the state certification exams. We can provide you with additional assistance in getting ready for these exams at www.mostwatertraining.com.